Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am announcing my official August TBR. I didn't think I would actually have an official one, but yeah, it's coalesced down at least. For the month of August, I am participating in New Release-a-thon 2022. I am one of the co-hosts. I am also going to be participating in the Magical Readathon, which I was already planning on doing, just planning to use my new release books to help fulfill those prompts. And then I got a childhood favorite prompt for that. So I'm just going to go over my list of books that I have and I will let you know which readathon that they go for. And for my magical readathon, my character did uh, the Spring Equinox for Crafts Mage. So for the Fall Equinox, there's only five books that I have to read, which is nice because it lets me again focus on my new releaseathon items. I have These Prisoning Hills by Christopher Rowe. This is a novella that works for my new releaseathon. And it also works for the AI prompt for the Magical Readathon. Then I have Tiger Honor by Yoon Han Lee. They are one of my favorite authors. Everything I've read by them I have liked so far. And this is the second in their middle grade series. It also works for the Magical Readathon prompt of Foil on the cover. The first book in the series was Dragon Pearl Following Men. This is going to follow another character, but they're going to run into men. I'm then planning to read Solar Punk, which is an online magazine. The magazine start, looks like it started this year from what I could find. And I'm planning to read the first volume because why not start at the beginning? Especially since the beginning started in 2022. And this will fulfill my short story prompt, it'll fulfill my magazine prompt. but. Those aren't the only short stories I'm reading. I'm also going to be reading The Way Spring Arrives and other stories, and I'm planning to buddy read this with Kristen over at Kristen L. SFF Reader. Again, more short stories, and it, I'm planning to read the whole anthology, so that will give me that. And it also gives me translated since these stories have been translated from Chinese. I have two ebooks that I'm planning to read this month. One is called Notorious Sorcerer, by Davinia Evans. This is a debut novel that comes out, I think, actually in September. So I have an arc of this on my phone. And it is a fantasy story centered around magic and what you type of magic you can and can't do in a society, it seems like. I'm excited. Then I also have Removable Echo by Anne Sophie. And this is by an indie published author or self-pub. You can say it either way. And it is the first in a trilogy that they have fast released. So this came out in May, the next one, second one came out in June, and the third one just came out in July. This seems to be like a YA science fiction with the idea of memories and being messed with. I then have Eclipse the Moon by Jessie Mihalik. This is the second book in her series. She released the first one in I think January, but I read it last month and I really enjoyed it. This is a science fiction romance is what they're going for. The first one had a more of a mystery plot to it and it seems like they're going to be following with that investigation angle um, in this one. And I'm excited because the characters that we're following in this one I really really enjoyed in the first one. I then plan to read A Magic Steeped in Poison. This is also a debut author. I know their second book comes out this fall, but I am intrigued and to see how this is going to work out. This actually works with one of the magical readathon uh, quest prompts. And then I have A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. This is like a fantasy from what I understand. I received an art copy many months ago and I want to read it to finish it because I feel bad otherwise for receiving it and never reviewing it. Sounds like it's going to have more like mythology and spirits from where they are. And I'm interested. I, I, I want to read it. That's why it's on the list. And then I have Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I'm using this as my second chance author. V.E. Schwab's kind of a hit or miss for me. But everything I've heard about the book Gallant has made me really interested to read it. 
whereas before I originally wasn't interested in reading it. For my childhood favorite reread, I am doing The Rowan by Anne McCaffrey. People with telepathic powers, you gotta love it. And then for the second prompt for that one, it's to read a graphic novel. And so I, I'm using two. I first have volume one, We Only Find Them When They're Dead. I also picked up volume two, which the trade came out in 2022. So again, it gives me another new release. The art of this has really caught my attention. And so my husband and I found ourselves in a comic book store and I was like, you know what? Yes, let's do it. He, there were comics he wanted and so I decided I was gonna get something for myself. And then that finishes my August TBR. I'm pretty sure I'll get to all of these.